This reading is for Taurus. I want to say thank you to all my subscribers, all my new subscribers, welcome. If you haven't already hit that bell button, hit that bell button at the bottom so you can get a notification each time I upload. So first card out is we have message of concern. One and four break it down to a five, which speaks about changes. Give me more Holy Spirit. This be a three and two, break it down to a five. So we have five, five. So someone could be definitely experiencing some changes at this time. It could be putting this person in a place of this fear, worry. Somebody could not be feeling like themselves. No more Holy Spirit. Sudden wealth. Okay. So somebody could be worried about their finances. Give me more Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm picking up an energy of, um, well, I know why. I'm picking up projection. Like, someone's trying to project a certain energy towards someone. Mm. Like, it's basically like have someone that have, like, a lack mentality, you know, like, feeling lack or they, or they losing something or something. Yes, I'm getting somebody just jealous. Mm -hmm. Somebody is just jealous. Somebody's projecting an energy towards someone. Mm-hmm. One more Holy Spirit. <clears throat> Thank you. Main female. Force person, coffin, courtship under the bottom. Okay, so somebody, um, somebody is realizing somebody who they was in relationships with or had relations with um, was false. And they decided to end that. Yeah. Somebody decided to go a whole nother a whole nother pathway, a whole nother direction. Somebody is jealous of your pathway. Somebody is jealous of your journey. Somebody is jealous of what you have. Somebody's projecting energy onto someone because someone is deciding to close out a chapter. Now, your this could be your person deciding to close out a chapter with someone. Okay, with, with whoever that fourth person is with that karmic energy. And somebody can just be jealous of you, Sunsees, because somebody want to come towards you. So somebody can be projecting some type of nasty energy your way. We're going to get into it. We're going to see what's going on. Yeah, what's this message of concern? Something is changing. Mm -hmm. Somebody is deciding to go a whole nother way, a whole nother direction. Whoever is getting left behind, someone is trying to project like an energy towards someone because they're jealous of what this of what you have. What's the message of concern, Holy Spirit? Yeah, not today. Boundaries and hurt, avoiding conversation, not dealing, not dealing, still upset. Yeah, whoever this person is, somebody's upset. They're hurt. Mm-hmm. Somebody could be talking to their friends, you know, letting someone know that someone is void, avoiding me. They don't want to deal with me. They don't want to talk to me anymore. Like somebody just, somebody got a, some type of like message out of nowhere. Um, something changed out of nowhere. Somebody just left because they found out that somebody was forced. Courtship, courtship, coffin and forced person. Somebody was like, nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm out of here. Expectation, mature woman, main male, official person, gift, high honor. Somebody is thinking about someone else that they want to make an offer to, that they feel like is very mature. Mm -hmm. Somebody's just jealous. Somebody's jealous because somebody got left and they're projecting the energy onto, you know, towards your way. Because they feel like somebody doesn't want them. What's this not today? I, I just feel like somebody just want to be alone. They want to be to themselves. They don't want to talk. They don't want to commentate. They don't want to, they don't, you know, they just don't want to be bothered. But somebody else is not, they're not feeling that. They don't like that. What's this not today? Not today. The chaser. Fear of abandonment, chasing, codependencies. That's what I'm saying. Somebody is not trying to hear this. 
whoever this chaser is, they're not trying to hear that somebody want to just be by themselves. Somebody is very codependent. Mm -hmm. Old school. Something is played out. I'm getting like same shit, different day. So this could be something that is a pattern that this whoever this the fourth person this karmic energy does. I'm hearing whatever this person, whatever this person doing, how they acting out is it, not pretty. So it could be definitely turning your your person completely off. <clears throat> Somebody realizing that this person is a karmic. And they separate themselves. What's the despair? <clears throat> this person could be definitely hurt. You know, if they chose to, you know, um, give this person commitment at one time, even though they ended it, they could be very hurt because they realize that they should have, you know, offered you this offer. Mm, what's the despair? Yeah, cut down. Cutting now separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment. Whoever this person is, I see they feel like you don't want to be bothered with them. Mm -hmm. They feel like you don't want to be bothered with, with them at all. But this is somebody that's ready to come and chase you down. But see, this is the thing. Your person ready to come and chase you down. Because they want to stop this, you know, this pattern of the separation. And make things right with you. But they also got somebody that's chasing them. Oh, yeah. What's the cut down, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Blowing kiss. Blowing kiss is unconditional love, giving and receiving, fairness and love, affection in return. Yeah, somebody is returning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I told you, karmic relationship. Somebody walked away from a karmic relationship. Mm-hmm. Whoever this person is, um... This person sees you as evolving, growing, new phase. Um, you know, this person feels like you're getting away. You're slipping through their they fingers, sunglasses, and they're watching you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this person feels like um, you've been healing your heart. Yeah, this separation with clock and healing heart. Somebody feels like you've been healing your heart. Hmm. It's also giving me divine time and we're healing heart and teddy bear. Yeah. It's giving um, divine time and patience and something with the shot card. Yeah. Something on it. You have to receive communication from this person out of nowhere. Teddy bear interested in you, blooming romance, flirting once a day, shock, sudden change, and love call. Yeah, and talking. Wedding rings. I'm telling you, I mean... Whoever, somebody is about to reach out to you and conversate with you. Somebody walked away from a karmic relationship. Somebody who, yeah, they found out this first person was a snake. Yeah. Somebody who was just trying to charm them or use them, possibly for they, they you know, you know whatever they had to offer, their stability. Yeah, somebody felt like somebody was just trying to use them for their money. Whoever this person is, this person, they they watch you. They watch you a lot. They walked away from a karmic. Somebody's about to come chasing you down. Mm -mm. They don't want nothing to do with, like, this. this somebody's avoiding the hell out of this karmic, okay? And they know the reason why this person is avoiding them is because this person wants to come towards you. Yeah. Whoever this karmic is, they, they really, um... <laughs> They in secret competition. They like they secret. It's like a they secret. It's a secret competition. They secretly competing with you when they don't even compare because you making healthy choices. And this snake over here is an enemy. It says competition and enemy. The other woman look over your shoulder. This other woman is very, 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 are malicious. Yeah, healthy choices in camera. This person um, could have found something on someone's, um, in someone's camera and they you know, their phone. Maybe they was looking at this person's camera, found pictures of you and this person. Cupid's arrow, wedding rings. Somebody is, 
Somebody is pissed off. I'm telling you, they found out that this person is in love with you. And somebody realized, like, ain't no love here. You would do just, you know? It just was a karmic connection. People with codependency issues. But now that somebody's ascending and growing and evolving, they no longer reside with this energy. That's why they want to come back towards you. Grounding. Stability, security, growth, and endurance. Yes. That's what's happening. Somebody is getting more grounded, more stable. It's like somebody's thinking clearly now. <laughs> what's the stunning wealth? Stunning wealth. Holy Spirit, stunning wealth. Sudden wealth is clarified with not enough. Ooh, confirmation. Lacking confidence, self-sabotage, ego, and fear, and frustration. So whoever this person is that's coming towards you, some sees that wants to communicate with you, this person could fear them not having enough for you. Maybe this person is not, you know, doing too well. Paradise, happiness, joy, playfulness, enjoying each other, honeymoon phase, king on the ring, talking. This is somebody who wants to offer a, a proposal. This is somebody who wants to spend time with you. You make this person very happy. I feel like this person never got over you, never forgot about you. Somebody regret going through this karmic lesson. But it was necessary. It was, I, I feel like it was fated to happen this way. Mm. But give me more Holy Spirit, sun and wealth, not enough. This person feels like they don't have enough. Yeah, mirror. Mirroring each other. Self-reflection, introspection, and the womb. So this can definitely be a twin flame of yours. <clears throat> I'm hearing, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? So whoever, whoever your twin flame is, they are definitely looking for you. You can have this person block some seeds or avoid this person. Um, maybe this person thinks you're still upset, but somebody is looking for you. Cooper's arrow, have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation, struck by love. This person's about to pop up on you. Yeah, somebody want to talk with the coffee cup. Heartbroke, shock, and ship. Mm-hmm. And this person know they broke your heart before. You're going to be shocked. But this person coming towards you. And they might be just coming towards you with the clothes on their back. What's this main female? Grounded. Yeah, this person sees you as grounded. Grounding, grounded stability, security, performance, growth, and endurance. This person sees you as someone very grounded. Uh, picture. Looking at your pictures, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. Yeah, this person wants to make new memories with you. Somebody feel like real down and bad for what they did to you. I don't think this person seen this backfire. What's this picture? Picture and grounded remain female. Yeah. It's someone who you've been in separation from. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you. Uncertain of the future. This person is uncertain if you won't even take them back or if, if there's a future with you guys anymore. But they're still coming back. They're still coming back to try their chances. And it's up to you. Old school. Replaying old events over and over in the head. Outdated thinking. Maybe this person has some old, outdated beliefs. Or they just, you know, they just needed to, you know. Somebody's realizing that, that, <laughs> you know, that, that, that player and, you know, um, you know, being a player, being lustful, that ain't gonna get you nowhere. Somebody also could be seeing you as someone who does very well for yourself with the ground and the stuff of well. Maybe somebody was like, one of them out there, like one of them people that thought, like you know, you know, the man's supposed to make more than a woman. You know, um, 
maybe this person was intimidated by you. So they went to somebody who was like, you know, was a lower vibration, you know, somebody um, who would be codependent and needy of them because you didn't need them, you know? But it turned out to be a disaster. Yeah, love, passion, coughing, partying, and a death card. Yeah, somebody chose lust over love, and somebody's realizing that. It wasn't worth it. That's why they're coming back. This person never got over you. It's just that somebody was just intimidated. Somebody felt like they didn't have as much as you did. So because of that, they felt like, you know, somebody didn't feel like, you know, they will be more of the men or, you know, there'll be enough for you. Thank you, Spirit, because it says not enough. There'll be enough for you. And it's gonna, like they, they wouldn't be your equal because somebody has more. Somebody was went to somebody who was codependent and would need them for every little thing. And to this person, like, oh, now they're like, hell no. I, I, I can't deal with somebody like this. Every time I turn around, your forced ass needs something. This is all you want me here for. That's what the core is. Somebody like, no, nah, I'm done. I'm done. Love call is soulmates. Yes, clock. Yeah, something about divine timing. I feel like things had to play out the way it is, is did. Yeah, somebody realized that somebody was wearing a mask. Yeah, whoever this, yeah. They realized whoever they was dealing with, I'm telling you, mask, girl with a snake, and karmic relationship. I can't make it up, Sunseeds. They realized that this person was just a karmic. That's why they leave it. And they headed towards you, love, call, clock, and soul me. Something just happened and it had to happen in divine timing. And I just feel like this person had to learn a lesson. Yeah, because they kept doing that outdated. There's somebody that kept doing something. This could have been somebody who 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 dived in and out of relationships, you know, someone who have commitment issues. This is somebody who had a pattern of of doing something, doing this to people. And so they ran across someone like you, and spirit was like, no, this is gonna be the end of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would not be surprised the wheel of fortune come out here. It was just fading for it to happen like that. And somebody knows that you don't do drama. With that, with that person that's whoever they was with, that snake and competing with you, they knew that they had to cut this off completely before they even come your way. Ooh, yeah. What's the chase of Holy Spirit? This person is afraid of this connection, you know, being over for good. I'm telling you, somebody's about to show up in someone's life. You're about to receive communication from this person. The chaser is the snake. I'm telling you, whoever this fourth person is that don't want nothing to do with them, whoever this enemy is or the other woman, did that spirit is saying, look over your shoulder, whoever this Jezebel-ass spirit is, yeah, I'm telling They Whoever the snake is, the chaser was clarified with competition enemy, the other woman, look over your shoulder. This this snake, this Jezebel spirit, is trying to chase your person down. And your person don't want to talk, they're not beat. The snake was clarified with the, with some of your person is the runner. They leaving. Yeah, somebody going towards their happiness. Paradise, happiness and joy. Playfulness and enjoying each other. Honeymoon phase. Yeah, somebody is out. They ran from this person. Somebody is coming towards you. They see you as the real deal. Yeah, this person is ready to heal this connection with you. Healing hearts and soulmates. Mm-hmm. Wow. I'm hearing whatever you want now. You can have it. Whatever you want. What's the paradise Holy Spirit? Yeah, talking. This person is going to be text messaging you, calling you, emailing you. <clears throat> yeah, look, I can't make it up. Talking at Twin Flame. I'm hearing this person is going to go out their way to prove themselves to you.
it's like somebody wants to provide for you. They want to date. They, they, somebody is like, if anybody could get anything out of me, it would be you. Somebody would not give a dime to whoever this Jezebel ass person is. So, a soulmate. So, this could be a soulmate or to a flame. Somebody watches closely. Somebody feel like you're going to think that they run the game or, they, or, or you, you might not take them serious. But this is somebody that's saying, I, I, I will be there for you. I'm going to be there for you. So, I mean, you ain't got to worry about nothing. Somebody, somebody realizing that they don't have to have, you know, not say who, because whoever this person is, I feel like they got, they, 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 they got something, but it's the fact that somebody didn't feel like you're equal. It could be a difference between you guys. Maybe you guys are very opposite. Maybe, maybe something different with your careers, um, physical appearance, your stability, security, something. I don't know. Something is very different when this person felt like. You know, it could just be that you're not codependent or needy. Yeah, confident passion. Somebody's putting an end to that. Yeah, that it just because that that whatever it was with this karma, whoever they was in the karmic relationship with, that's all it was. It was just passion, ran off of lust. It was never love. The love was always with you. And how long? How long is that gonna last? <laughs> It's like somebody awakening. Somebody's realizing, like, this is not where it's at no more. And they realize how needy and codependent so on. That is a major turnoff to this person. I can feel the energy. What's the, um, give me another card on the sneak. Yeah, whoever the sneak is, all they want to do is party, turn up. Yeah. They could have, you know, even met this person while they was partying and turning up at a point in their life where they was just having a good time, you know. Um, you know, when somebody was just in, you know, that low vibrational energy, you know, 3D, you know. But, um, you know, was caught up in the, three, you know, 3D things. But somebody is realizing, like, this is not what I want anymore. They can be seen as this karmic. All this karmic does is, is, is want to party, be outside, or with, spend time with their friends. This is not that for this person. Yeah, the butterfly, something is changing. Yeah, and they're watching you. The sunglasses, camera looking at old pictures of you guys. Addiction and ship. Codependent. Um, if this person uh, with addictions and shit and, and with the boat being here, cutting ties, moving on, if this person had any addictions before, they're cutting those out. If this person no longer have, say, a sex addiction or any kind, any kind of addiction, um, if they no longer, this could be a sex addiction, a, a drinking addiction, a smoking addiction, any type of addiction. If somebody no longer have that addiction anymore and somebody heals that part of them, it's like, what do we have in common? What do we, what do we, what do we resonate with? Because only, only how we was resonating is when somebody had that type of addiction. If somebody heals themselves with a butterfly and evolve, what, what do you, what do these people have in common? Nothing anymore. 444, four, four, I just seen. They have nothing in common. And somebody is realized, like somebody is waking up and seeing somebody for who they are. With the boat in addiction, it's like somebody is moving on and cutting their ties. Yeah, coughing, something is over with. That's why somebody doesn't want to be bothered. That's why somebody is just like, nah, I'm not going to deal with the situation. But whoever this karmic is, they want to come chasing this person down. Because your person is running from them. <laughs> That's not funny. Oh, chef. Let me see something. Yeah, somebody about to take the initiative and come towards you. They want to reconcile. Three of cups to the ace of cups. Somebody is in their feelings. Yeah. <laughs> King of cups. Somebody is in their feelings about you. Yeah. Empress, Eight of Pentacles, they want to work on things with you. <clears throat> Who 
Who's this message of concern? Holy Spirit, message of concern. Thank you. Ten of Wands. <clears throat> Yeah, this person was feeling burnt and a lot of responsibility stressed the hell out. Give me more Holy Spirit, Ten of Wands energy. Ten of Wands. Yeah, it wasn't no love here. This was this this was nothing but codependence, a codependency relationship that was burning, was burning someone down, causing financial strain on this connection. The Moon card. What's this? To the Death card. Yeah. This person definitely could have been hiding that from you. Because they was embarrassed. They didn't want you to know. But somebody is somebody um into that. Mm-hmm. I feel like this person went through a uh with the death card, a death and rebirth. Yeah, eight of cups. This person is walking away. But something that was very painful. The high friend to the three of swords, eight of cups, whoever they was in a commitment with or a relationship with. This was like, oh hell no. So child. <clears throat> What's the moon card? Four wands every verbs. Wow. It, it was a no support in this relationship. They didn't get no support from this person. Okay? This person didn't even feel whoever this this dirt party is, this karmic is, they didn't even make this person feel welcome. Somebody just wanted to say that they had your person, just to say they had your person. Okay? It was conflict in this home. And this person was hiding this from you. Cause they was embarrassed, I'm hearing. What's the death card? That's why something came to an end. But I feel like it was necessary. Spirit wanted this person to go through this. What's the death card? Yeah, somebody feels like they don't have enough because they could have definitely gave everything to this damn army. Trying to keep a roof over their head. What's the death card? Eight of swords in reverse. Yeah, somebody is freeing themselves. Death card clarified with eight of swords in reverse. Freedom release, taking, taking their control back. Yeah, this is somebody who's ready to face their fears and surrender. Like, listen, mm-mm. Yeah, somebody put a stop to this. Nine of Wands. What's the despair? What's the despair, Holy Spirit? Despair. 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 Despair is clarified with the lovers and the Nine of Wands. Oh, child. See, your person is choosing to end this connection and move on. Okay, they choosing to move on. But whoever this damn karmic is, they don't karmic is. They don't want to give up. Two of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. They don't want to give up. Cancer, Pisces energy, Scorpio energy, um, um, Gemini energy. What's this? Oh. Gemini again. Sagittarius with the Nine of Wands. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the Queen of Pentacles. Pisces, Energy, Two of Cups. Somebody just don't want to... Um, I feel like whoever this person is, I see your person is making a choice to free themselves and leave this, leave this card behind, but this card is going to give up. They could be holding kids over this person's head or holding money. Yeah, it's like, give me more Holy Spirit. Because they codependent. They they need your person. And your person ain't trying to hear that. Somebody like, hell no. Yeah, they ain't trying to hear that. I'm telling you, it's about to be a tower. Sudden change. Somebody is not trying to hear that. They is out. Somebody like, I'm out of there. Give me a card, not a, um, the lovers. Yeah, it's in the cup. Somebody is going towards their happiness, which is you. What's the nine of wands? Yeah, somebody wants to be happy. They want to enjoy themselves with you. Like, somebody feels like being with you will make them happy. What's the nine of wands? 
Yes, that's the yes for me. Nine of Wands is the Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants a victory with you. Mm. Somebody sees you as, ooh, ooh, child. They see you as, um, like they will be surrounded by love. Like somebody feel like they, you, you bring the joy, you bring the happiness out of them. They wasn't happy here. Somebody was hiding that. Somebody feel like they'd be happy and in love with you. They also feel like you, you, you know, you would be someone who so, like like support them, meaning to where like you, you, you would give them like wise, wise counsel if they needed, like support them, you know, have they back, meaning to where whoever this person is, they had a lack of support here. This, this is somebody who didn't support them. If they didn't have it, this person made them feel like this, made them feel like shit if they had it. You could be on the other hand, someone is like. Well, you know what? Let's 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 look. Let's let's see what's available. Let's see. You know, you know, what kind of job? You know, you could be motivating this person, speaking to the king or the queen in them. You know, um, just speaking positive affirmations over their life, praying for your person. Definitely praying, 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 praying over your person. Also, putting protection over your person. You know, this person ain't. Uh, uh yeah. This your twin. This is my twin. Justice. High Priestess, Seven of Wands, Nine of Cups, Five of Wands. This person feels blocked. They feel blocked. You can have this person blocked. You gonna move like this up. You were made for me. Yeah, this is my twin. I'm hearing that song to somebody twin. I forgot who's singing. You are made for me. What's the six of wands? This is a bite twin. I'm hearing that song to my head. And I feel like whoever that third party that karmic is, they and they feel because this person is taking action coming towards you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Queen of Swords, High Priestess. Somebody sees the truth, man. He listens to the intuition. Yeah, Ace of Cubs. They in love. They feel like nobody knows them the way you do. Nobody's going to love them the way you do. And whoever this person is was trying to block this person from coming towards you. Two bodies, skin to skin. My best love, you were made for. Somebody could be a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Gemini. Um, what's that? Aries. You were made for me. What's the six of wands? Ace of wands. The strip card. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This person wants a new beginning with you. Mm-hmm. Six of swords. This person even feel guided to and led to you. Mm-hmm. Yes, they do. But this person might feel like they don't have enough. What's the um study well? Oh, it's very clear about the shrimp card. Clear about the shrimp card. The shrimp card. Clear about the shrimp. The strength is clarified with the Five of Wands, the Justice, the Eight of Ace of Pentacles, the Star Card. See, whoever this goddamn karmic ass snake, okay, that wants to compete with you because your person wants to come towards you and heal things because they see you as they wish with this Ace of Pentacles, which is Justice. Yeah, Justice. Look, I'm telling you, big Empress energy. You are their whole wish. Somebody's like, I want my wish. Okay? I want my wish. Yeah, King of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. They felt delayed. Mm -hmm. They felt like the delay because I felt like somebody was all in their head. Somebody felt like they didn't have enough. Mm. What's the Ace of Wands? 
So somebody was like, you know what? I'm going to stick with the situation that I got. And to the point where somebody was like, I can't even rock with this anymore. I can't rock with this no more. Ace of Wands. This will be even be somebody choosing to be homeless just so they don't have to be in this household. What's the Ace of Wands? Somebody like, hell no. <laughs> hell to the no. Page of Wands. That's confirmation. Yeah, you about to receive message from this person. I'm telling you, they're closed out of cycle. Yeah, the world card, the judgment. Somebody could have definitely went through awakening. <clears throat> What's the sun? Um, sun and well. Sun and well. Knight of Cups. <clears throat> yeah, sudden wealth with the Knight of Cups in reverse. If this person had any type of finances and they gave it to this other person, they are now avoiding this person and they're very disappointed that they even invested their the money on, into this connection. Mm -hmm. Somebody is mad as hell. This could be somebody who... Who, you know, when they were stable at one time, they thought they, you know, they thought they was a shit son of seeds. Yeah. And they could have, they could have fronted on you. They could have fronted on you and went to whoever this karmic is. And this karmic used them right on up. Y'all two of pinnacles. Juggle. Two of pinnacles hang me. Uh-huh. Two of pinnacles hang me into the eight of pinnacles. Somebody could have even met someone at work. They could have juggled you with a, with somebody at work. Could have been a work situation. What's the night that comes in reverse? Oh, I told you. I told you. I would not be surprised if the Wheel of Fortune come out. It was fated to go down like this. Yep. Queen of Cups, King of Swords, Page of Swords. Yeah, this person watches you. Mm-hmm. And they feelings. Yeah, it was it was this was some it was fated. This was karma. Give me more Holy Spirit. What's the um Wheel of Fortune? Yeah, I just seen the Ace of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Mm. The star card and the full cups. Do you feel like you may um you may not want to heal a situation with them? Like, they feel disconnected from you. They feel like, you know, that, like, they feel like they lost you. I also, um, I'm also getting, you know, whoever they was dealing with, whoever this karmic is, they they mean to this person now. Somebody is actually bored with this person. They don't, they, they just like, hell no, like, I'm good. They don't want nothing to do with that person. Four cups. Somebody do not want to be here. They is good or for them. Yes, high priestess and nine of swords. Mm-hmm. You could be picking up on this person's energy. Yeah, the emperor. You could be picking up on this person's energy. Whoever this person is, they're not giving up on you at all. <clears throat> What's the high priestess? Thank you. Five is towards in reverse. Yeah, this person wants to reconcile with you. Mm-hmm. After closing out a cycle with the world card. Reconciliation, resolution, compromise, revenge, regret, remorse, cutting losses. Yeah, this person cut their losses. But what would they cut their losses with? This person wants revenge on this person because this person wants you. Ooh, child, this person want revenge because this person is no longer given to them. The Knight of Cups in reverse, that's somebody who was not nice to them. They ain't charming. They don't want to take you out. They don't want to poly with you. They don't want to kick it with you. They don't want none of that. And whoever this snake is, this competition, enemy, the other woman look over your shoulder, they, they listen. They feel some type of way about you. Ooh. Wow, Empress of the Tempest, look at you, Earth Age, you. Earth Angel, what you do? Like, Earth Angel, like, I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing but just be myself. Compete with who? Who? Oh. <laughs> like, what? Somebody wants to go back and forth with you, sussy, with your twin flame. Are you serious? What's this main female Holy Spirit? Main female? Like, what the heck? They got to take that up with the divine. That's your twin. 
Uh, main female clip out with the eight of wands, the fool card, the hermit. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody is definitely about to reach out to you. They want to take a leap of faith, okay? This person been in solitude thinking about this long enough. What's the hermit? Thank you, spirit. Yes, seven of cups. Thinking about it long enough in the head. Ace of swords. Spirit said that's the damn truth. Ace of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. Somebody is definitely about to come in and make you an offer. They see you as they wish, and they come in quick, okay? I feel like you don't see this at all, okay? Two of Swords or Two of Pentacles is somebody who once juggled you at one time, but two, two speaks about there's about to be some type of balance and harmony throughout this whole thing, okay? Yep. What's the fool called, Holy Spirit? Yeah, the sun card. <laughs> this person is taking a leap of faith on the happiness, and that's just spirit. <clears throat> I don't know what that card is that fell on the floor. What's the um, seven of cups? I feel like, let me see. I really can't get it, but I can see. Okay, that was the magician. Yeah, this person's trying to manifest you back in. Manifest they, um, they way back in this connection. Clarify the magician on the full of Holy Spirit. And you're the king of wands. This person's about to take action and come towards you. Um, what's the seven of cups? The seven of cups is clarified with the judgment and the ten of pentacles and the two of cups. Yeah, somebody is out. Mm-hmm. But somebody is trying to block them from coming towards you. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Seven of Wands, Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, Seven, 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 Three of Swords. Yeah, somebody is realizing that whoever the karmic was, they was only after them for their money. That's why they left. What's the three and four? That's why they left. They realized that somebody was just manipulating them. Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. Ain't no love there. It was only passion and what they could get out of them. That's it. Somebody mad as hell for what they did to their twin. For the sh I'm telling you, King of Swords, that's the truth. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? Yeah. The three of cups. Reconciliation to the chariot. Two of one. Yeah, somebody had to like weigh things out. Like two, two, two here. Somebody like really set and thought like before, you know, that's why they're able to make whatever this choice is, whatever this decision is that they're making now, is because somebody had to like really sit back and hermit, like in, in solitude and really like think shit out. Like, damn, like I really course my, my, my person hurt this girl or hurt this guy for this bull crap right here I can't make it up for this bull crap right here I cannot make it up king of swords the five of cups somebody is hurt they regret page of swords to the hangman yeah queen of pentacles queen of cups eight of pentacles yeah, they watch you and they spy on you. They in regret of whoever they chose to work with over you. Six of Pentacles, and they gave to this person. Yep. Mm. Somebody thought they had the the the, the next best thing. Who shall? <laughs> this way it was always at. With the Earth Angel. Well, so I hope this reading resonated. I hope it helped you guys, gave you guys clarity in your situation. I love you guys so very much. Until we get up next time, this person is done with this karma. This karma ain't trying to hear it, though. Oh, sure. Yeah, somebody is ready now. If they wasn't ready before for you, if they wasn't ready before for you, oh, they, they ready now. Somebody don't care what nobody has to say, what anyone thinks. 
I'm getting like a meme mug. Like, what if my third eye like a meme mug? Like, somebody got like a straight face. Like, like what's up? Like, like what's up? <laughs> like, I don't care what nobody got to say. Like, yeah, it's like, uh-uh. Somebody ain't trying to hear that. Yeah, somebody that went through a, a ascended. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they had backstabbing death. Yeah, something was faded. That death and rebirth. Somebody hurt them. Yeah. But it was fated to happen. Passion, abundance, sword of rose. You about to see some type of truth and clarity from this person, Empress. Wedding rings. Yeah, they want the whole ten of pinnacles, the whole nine yards with you. Yeah. I can't make it up. Abundance and grounding. I feel bad if anybody trying to stop this person from coming towards you, um, because this person might, if this person ain't even, if, this could be somebody who ain't even a violent person, like, I'm just seeing somebody face in my third eye, like, like, one that mean girl look like, I dare you, like, somebody, like, ain't nobody getting in my way no more, like, ain't nobody getting in my damn way no more, <laughs> yeah, but they had to learn some lessons. I love you, son. Sweet. Until we get up next time. Well, let me get you. Um, let me get me put one of these cards before we close this out. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Spirit said, "Only time will tell." Only time will tell. Under the bottom, we have romance. Cupid arrow strikes. Yeah, this person, yeah. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Yeah, this person couldn't get you out their head. They couldn't, even when they was with this person, it's like this person could never stop thinking about you. Yeah, they couldn't. That's why they had to go through that transformation. Death and rebirth. Transformation. Your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. That's that death card, that death and rebirth. And with that look inside yourself, I feel like that's when they went in hermit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, look at this. Twin flame. Twin flame, your passion ignites. Wow. If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the, the gateway to the soul. Somebody is definitely following the heart. You seen earlier when we had the Ace of Cups in the upright. And then the Ace of Cups at the end, somebody is walking away from somebody who they never even loved. It was just lust, passion. That's all it was. The heart was always with you. Yes, they had to surrender. That's all it was. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I knew it was somebody twiffling. I see me started busting out singing that song. <laughs> 